hello friends welcome to vfx pipeline channel and in this video i will show you how you can create folder structures using python programming language you know when we are talking about the folders directories or whatever you call it that is actually very important in every vfx pipeline because there you actually store your file you organize your files in a proper folder structure so somehow if you are able to create the folder structure dynamically then it will be save a lot of time for you okay so let's start and if you haven't subscribed my channel please friends just subscribe this and uh, here you will see all other python related videos okay so let's continue and fire up our ide which is pycharm okay so now i have a blank python file here and the idea is we need to create a folder structure of uh, for example uh, let me just uh, get some of my variable but before that we just start with some help uh, about that about the script what is this about so let's create folder structure all right so this is the title for our script and here let me get some of the variables that actually i just type here uh, basically that is uh, one is project which is the project name and the label assets type name i mean this is just a variable i just added here and uh, in your case this variable can be any any other thing because now we'll make a path based on that so it will be a hierarchy we will build based on this variable so for example let's say if we want to create the i mean the path so what we can use is something like this for example let's say path and uh, equals to and this will be our string and we will use a f string here and in that f string i can call this one by one so for example let's just include project then slash then include level right then include type sorry type then name okay then task okay then version at the in the end okay so with that we will create this but you know what one thing that you should remember there must be a root also there so let me create a root and just a minute i will explain everything what is this root is and why i created this root first let me just include this root here and uh, let me take uh, sorry <coughs> root okay so far what we added here we see one error which is string is not allowed so let's just remove that be mistaken okay now everything is fine uh, so we what we created we first we have all the variables here okay and don't get confused this is just for example because we want to create a hierarchy in one single click so with this way we can actually get all the va uh, variables and then based on that variables we created a path here okay and let's just uh, first print our path so print path now if i go run folder structure and here you can see that it's printing this path here which is fine okay uh i intentionally put some spaces here and some of the characters like c capital here this is weird i know but i will show you how we can actually make this standardized so now let's just create a folder structure based on whatever we have and this is the root which i put it here and i put one dot here and that means just create a folder structure in the directory where we are executing this script so in now in our case actually we have we are in the this pipeline folder a vfx pipeline folder and the directory will be generated here itself okay 
let's just first execute uh, this without actually let me just uh, call the core library which will help us to do that and that is OS library OS module so import OS and OS you no need to pip install OS because this is the standard Python library okay then what you have to do is you need to go OS dot make dirs this one you need to make sure you are right typing make dirs that will make the hierarchy of the folders okay then put path so right now we don't have any folder structure here let me just execute that run okay immediately you see that there is a iron man assets character boy model and v001 is created and we can actually explore this inside our folder structure uh, basically here you can see iron man and assets character boy model v001 but when you see this path actually you see there is one spa space here and there's a character which is c is capital which we don't want so we want to actually make all uh, in the small letters not in the capitals okay so for that what we can do is we can uh, do we can change that but before that we just created this directory but now we want to remove that and what is the like how we can remove uh, let's just remove that first okay or uh, before removing I would like to demonstrate one more thing here because since we already have the directory here and if you if you try to execute it again you will see an error perfect you see this error this fold file and folders are already exist so you can't create if it is exist and you will see this error so to handle that what you can use is you can actually put if os dot path sorry if os dot path dot exist and then path so with this if statement what we are first checking if the path is exist then sorry if not if not path exists then create so with that if we run no error passed already then we can actually put one more condition here else os dot remove dirs path so with make dirs will make the directory remove dirs will remove the directory let's just run this and i hope we can remove this perfect so with that it's removed if we now execute it will create see it's created already and now if we run removed okay but now let's just make uh, a proper naming here so let's just make everything lower so what we can do is since we already have our path string here what we can use is we can use dot lower okay then now let's just run this as here you can see everything is now lower every character is lower there is no capital here but still there is one more problem here which is one space so how we can handle spaces there which we can use something like dot replace and put a empty string with one space and replace with uh, for example let's put one underscore there so run this so here you can see our space is, ac is actually now replaced by a underscore okay so with that now we have all the name properly we handle the space we have make all lower now let's just create iron man so we have our we already created an iron man with a small one as you can see here okay let me just open inside uh, our file browser <coughs> show in explorer so as you can see here it's all small okay now let's see add some more fun and in the character level let's say if you have a list of a lot of uh, maybe 20 characters and you want to create that hierarchy for that so what you can do is you can test this same with uh, let me just uh, delete this ok 
okay let me just delete this four and just for a test we can run a for loop and in that for loop what we can use is we can let's just put this path in a for loop where we can see for each in range for example let's create 20 and this is the path which we have and in that path actually the name uh, maybe the name will be underscore and then e <coughs> sorry okay so now let's just run this and we'll see what will be created let's just run this as you can see here we have actually boy one boy two a lot of i mean it should be like 20 folders should create it inside there let's go iron man assets character and as you can see all the folders created you can see inside model v001 you can put it your file there i mean the idea is this to actually create the i mean the folder structure but now let's just come to this point what is this root is because right now in this demonstration i am executing this script and i am creating this folder structure here but in case in your case you might creating this folder structure maybe in your c drive maybe in your d drive or maybe somewhere else okay so well in that case what do you have to do you you can just replace this with your drive for example let's say e and then this structure will be generated inside the e not in the same directory so wherever you can actually change this and it will change the location of the root and even if i if i run this the folder instead of e it will be changed to see it's actually in the e directory okay and we no need to put this let's run okay so here you can see this is going inside your e drive so in your case it can be a e l m and whatever drive you can just uh, replace that there's one more option here which i want to mention since i'm i'm explaining the folder structure here let me just comment with everything and uh, there's one thing which is actually in os level you can use is something like os dot ch dir and this is basically change the directory of the uh, where you are what you are executing where the script you are executing for example right now you are executing this script inside this folder which is actually in my desktop bfx pipeline folder but now you you want to change that part like the execution should be done inside your e drive let's say e data then what will happen the exec uh, the root of the script will be changed to e data then actually you can just use our same code which is like this sorry but it's just a different way it, it doesn't matter like how you can use this but the core idea is how you actually build the path if you give the path so the idea to create this is actually just to give a dynamic path so we no need to actually uh, recreate create folders one by one manually all this data later on you can get it through your api's or you can get it from anywhere uh, which is definitely from a from a database or somewhere and based on that you can create these folders for your users okay so yeah this is nothing complicated to conclude i would just mention these two lines again one is os dot make dirs and one is os dot remove dirs but don't forget to add this if not os dot path exists this is this way you can actually check if the path is exist or not okay so this is the end of this tutorial guys if you like this video please go and subscribe this channel and stay tuned with me i will come up with some more interesting video tutorials for you guys all right thank you guys bye bye